Hey everybody, Kevin here with another Note Investor Tip of the Day. This one's on tapes, and specifically tapes that you might get from larger uh, note sellers. And by the way, for those who don't know, tape is nothing more than an Excel spreadsheet of assets that are available. So when you look at a tape and you've got maybe 50 assets, 100 assets to look through, do not assume that, that no all of those notes have been given the same attention as the single note that you purchased. That's a bad assumption to take in the very beginning. In other words, information is going to be inaccurate sometimes. They had, had not followed through on some of the notes the same way that you would have. They possibly have been slightly mismanaged. They might have been forgotten about. The reason being is that these bigger buyers have hundreds and thousands, maybe tens of thousands of assets. They can't possibly look at all of those individual assets. They do not have the personnel. They're big on capital small on personnel. They're big on turnover, not buy and hold. So they're coming into these things with a whole different attitude. You're looking at a tape, assuming everything's going to be accurate. You cannot do that. Assume the accuracy that you need to make a proper bid to inquire more, but ultimately you need to get the documentation because the documentation is going to give you the factual numbers. If the loan's been modified, if there's been a forbearance, if there's debt to be forgiven or already forgiven, all of those things are not going to come through in the tape. There'll be indicators, okay, that a loan's been modified, something like that. But the facts and what you have to deal on is the paperwork, the note, the mortgage, the modification, the payment history, the uh, payoff letters to get all the details on the note. So you have to do your due diligence. Do not assume that they have properly managed all those assets and that all of the information on that tape is 100% accurate. I don't think they're doing it to be misleading. It's just they manage a lot of assets. Somebody had to type that information in, and sometimes it's not 100% accurate. There's your note investor tip of the day.